How does the GSE, EC fan controller works? Use the drilling template supplied with the controller, when mounting the controller to your wall. Connect the provided humidity temperature light sensor to the input described as sensor. Connect your exhaust fan to fan 1, intake fan to fan 2. If your fans use a different connector, you can connect them according to this schematic. For the RJ45 connector, on pin 6 connect the pulse, rounds per minute, on pin 5 connect the ground, on pin 4 the signal 0 to 10 volts, or PVM, and on pin 3, the plus 10 volts power supply, if provided from the fan. For the stereo jack, on pin 4 connect the ground, on pin 3 connect the pulse, rounds per minute, on pin 2 the signal 0 to 10 volts, or PVM, and on pin 1, the plus 10 volts power supply, if provided from the fan. Use the provided EC fan adapters for a fast and easy solution, to connect, terminals, RJ45, and stereo jack 3.5 mm. This might be easier, but it's always better to connect the cable directly to the fan, if there is a terminal block on the fan side. If the EC fans, provide more than 10 volts power to the controller, it starts working immediately. If not, connect the power supply to the power socket. How does the GSE, EC fan controller with LCD display works? The EC fan controller is a speed regulator for one exhaust fan, or both exhaust fan, and intake fan. After a short startup procedure, the controller displays, measured values, fan speed bar, and day-night stage. The controller is operated with three menu keys. Press down, to go to the temperature day setting. To change the temperature value press set save, once. The setting starts flashing. Now you can change the value with the up down arrow keys. Set the desired temperature for daytime, and then press set save again, to save this setting and return to the selection of settings. Press down. To go to the daytime hysteresis setting for temperature. The hysteresis refers to the value between the lowest and the highest value of the regulation. For example, we set the hysteresis to 2 degrees Celsius and the day temperature to 25 degrees Celsius. The fan will start at 25 degrees room temperature and reach maximum speed at 27. In these 2 degrees Celsius, the fan speed will change linearly, according to the measured temperature. Press down, to go to the humidity day setting. The humidity value is set the same way as the temperature value. Press down, to go to the day time hysteresis setting for, humidity. Same as temperature, the humidity hysteresis refers to the value between the lowest and the highest value of the regulation. For example, 10% humidity hysteresis, at 60% relative humidity. The fan will start at 60% humidity and reach maximum speed at 70%. In these 10%, the fan speed will change linearly according to the measured humidity. Press down, to go to the minimum speed day setting. The minimum speed setting limits the exhaust fan. It should never be undercut during the regulation. The current minimum speed is displayed on the bottom side of the speed bar. Each filled segment represents 10% fan speed. If the value is set to 0%, the exhaust fan will stop working when the measured temperature or humidity are below their set values. The minimum speed can be set to up to 100% speed. For example, we set the value to 10%. Press down, to go to the maximum speed day setting. The maximum speed setting also limits the exhaust fan, and should never be undercut during the regulation. The current maximum speed is displayed on the top side of the speed bar. Each missing segment represents 10% fan speed. For example, we set the maximum speed to 100%. These first six settings apply throughout daytime. 
The LED indicates the state of the fans with a constant shining during daytime. During nighttime, the LED is blinking, and the controller uses the next six settings, which are set the same way. After you have gone through all of them, press down again, to set the negative pressure setting. The negative pressure decreases the speed of the intake fan. For example, we set the value to minus 20%. When the exhaust fan operates at full load 100%, the intake fan stays at 80%. If the exhaust fan runs at 50%, then the intake fan runs at 40%. Minus 20% of its power. The exhaust fan removes more air from the room than the intake fan blows inside, and you obtain a guaranteed negative pressure during the regulation. Press down to go to the light sensor switch setting. You can see, the alternate blinking of the sun and moon segments. Press set save, to change the switch level value between day and night time. If the value is set to 30% light, then the controller will switch settings when the light is below 30%. Press down, to go to the light sensor delay setting. This countdown is used to avoid an immediate switching between day and night mode, when the light sensor has reached the switching level. For example, we set the value to 300 seconds. When the countdown ends, assuming it doesn't get interrupted by getting light at the light sensor, the controller will switch, from day, to night time. In reverse, the controller will switch from night to day the same way. Not every EC fan has the same minimum speed. This can be easily corrected with the EC fan controller. Disconnect the power supply cable from the controller. Wait a few seconds. Press and hold the up button, and then connect the power supply again. Keep holding the button for more than 3 seconds. Now you can set the speed, which should correspond to 1% of the minimum speed. Press set save. Use the up-down arrow keys to change the value. And press set save to save. Repeat this process, and keep increasing the value. Until the fan is able to turn by itself. Press down to go to P2. Here you can set the backlight, on, off, or automatic. Press set save to select, use the up-down arrow keys to change the value and press set save to save. In the P3 you can set the EC output signal as, 0 to 10 volt, or pulse wide modulation. Read the technical data sheet of the fan. The P4 setting lets you choose, when the temperature and humidity are below their set values, should the intake fan stop completely, or should it run on set minimum speed. In the P5 you can change the temperature scale to Fahrenheit. In the P6 you can reset the controller to factory settings. Press down to go to end and press set save to confirm. The EC fan controller initializes with the new settings.